Hey guys, welcome to this new series to build a dice roll application in Xcode 5 and iOS 7. Now some of you guys might still be using Xcode 4 and you'll be building for iOS 6, but that's not a problem at all. You'll still be able to follow along and at any point, and there's very few points uh, where it's going to differ, I'm going to tell you exactly how it's going to look in Xcode 4 and what the difference is. So feel free to follow along. I have total confidence that even if you're using Xcode 4, you'll still be able to build the dice roll application. So let me give you a quick demo of what it's going to look like. So I'm going to launch it right here. And we're just literally going to click a button and it's going to randomize two numbers and the label at the top changes. And this demo is really building off of the skills that you learned in lessons one to nine in the basics series. So if you haven't gone through that uh, and you're a total beginner, I would recommend that you do those videos first and then do this. Now, if you're a seasoned programmer or you've seen and worked with some iOS, then feel free to jump in with the dice roll application. All right, let's get started. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the new project window of Xcode 5. And what we want to select is a single view application. Now in this screen, if you're running Xcode 4, you're going to see a couple of more checkboxes here. Uh, and the checkboxes that you'll want to have checked on if you're running Xcode 4 is use storyboards and use automatic reference counting. So make sure those two are checked on. Uh, other than that, the rest are the same. So I'm going to call my product a dice roll app and save it somewhere. And it's going to create this basic application for us. And just to review, it starts off with app delegate. And we've got a view controller and we've got a storyboard. Now, if you went through the basics series, then you should uh, be familiar with the setup already. Now in Xcode 5, we have this image or asset catalog and you won't have this with Xcode 4, but what you're going to be doing instead is just adding the images and I'll let you know when we get to it. So I just wanted to remind you guys of the app flow. The entry point is the app delegate and then followed by the view controller, which manages the view that you specify in the storyboard. Okay, we're gonna start by adding some image assets to our project. Now, click on the annotation on the screen or in the link in the description below to go to my website and download a zip file with all of the image assets that we're going to be using. Now, when you get to that page on my site, you're gonna to have to create a free Code with Chris account and then you'll be able to download the image assets from that very same page. So go ahead and do that now. And then once you've got those images, come back. Okay, I'm going to assume that you guys have downloaded the zip file of the image assets and have unzipped it into a folder. So if you're using Xcode 5, um, what you can do is open up the asset library and then right click here and choose import. And then you can import all of these images into your project like this. Now, if you're using Xcode 4, then you, you won't have the asset catalog, but what you can do is just drag all of the files into your project like this. And you can copy the items into your project folder if needed. You can choose this option here and click finish and you'll have the images into your project as well. So since we're using Xcode 5 here, I'm just gonna delete this. That was just for the purposes of showing you guys for the Xcode 4 viewers. Okay, so now the second thing we're gonna do is go to the storyboard and this is our view. So let's run the application right now and I'll show you guys that th that's exactly what we have. There you go. And actually I wanna be using the iPhone uh, four inch. So you can just change the simulator that you're using from this menu up here. I'm gonna select the four inch, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna rerun it. And then Okay, I'm going to stop that right now. And similarly, in uh, Storyboard, you, there's this button here that you can click to apply the 3.5 inch form factor or the 4 inch. I hope that was pretty easy to follow along, and I appreciate you guys watching. Please share it with any of your friends or colleagues who are interested in iPhone development and help me spread the word. And as usual, the notes are in the description below, as well as the link to the source code and the image assets. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.